here I've got a couple of uh, end plates as I've already made and you can see that I've got um, three screws in the faces. This will be the face right here that mates to the other module. So these two would you know, butt together like this. This little area here would be the foam and your scenery and stuff out here. And your legs and whatever down below and these two clamp together. I will show you step by step later on, but I'll just explain it here real quickly. So Jen and I sawed up a full 4x8 foot sheet of 3 quarter inch burst plywood. I think that works out. It was 34 bucks for the sheet of plywood, so we got uh, 6... 14 modules, it's about two bucks or four bucks an end plate. Two bucks an end plate, something like that. Four bucks a module. The Luan was 11 or 12 bucks a sheet, so that's pretty cheap. And it'll go a long ways because you're going to only cut it like six or eight inches, whatever you want your fascia, if you want your fascia above the, the top. And then these, you'll get a lot of little two or three inch strips four foot long or so um, out of this so that'll go quite a long ways and this was not very expensive it was like eight or ten bucks a sheet too that's the just regular eighth inch so okay so the other one this is the side that faces there and this one's the deck Put some glue on here. Yeah, I know it's a, it's poplar, not birch. Oh well, it's what they had. So you got your one, two, three blocks underneath here. Uh, tuck these clamp. They're they're tucked under in about here. So then, so that you can put these two clamps on, the, uh, the ones holding the face to the one, two, three blocks in close, and that lets you hang this out and get these clamps in so everything's nice and square to those one, two, three blocks. The one, two, three blocks set your height, the top, that's the top side down of the deck at two inches so it fits your foam perfectly. Now I'm just marking the two inch height crossed. I know where to drill my holes through a little ways. I'm going to countersink these holes. Because you don't want anything sticking out on these face plates. So now I'm going to run into the leg of the... That's why you guys were back there. Alright, so... Like I said, once these are uh, screwed together, I can unclamp this whole dealie because everything's secure, square, nothing's going to move from now on, and uh, use my same blocks to uh, finish putting the rest of putting the rest of these face plates together if I wanted to. So these two will sit here like so, and they all come together, and so that's how I do a profiled uh, set of module ends.